in Culver City get a glimpse of some mysterious lights last night. And one CBS2 viewer caught those flashes on camera. CBS2's mm -hmm. Craig Herrera is live in Griffith Park. Yeah. Gives us a look. Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi there, Sharon. Hi there, Jeff. Yeah, quite an amazing scene, and a lot of people are talking about it also on social media. Vandenberg Air Force Base says, yeah, no missiles were launched, and some of the scientists here at Griffith Observatory said it was likely a meteor. Let's show you that video yet again from Culver City as that driver was moving along the uh, 10. And yeah, quite a sight flashing up nicely. We should see more of these as long as the sky starts to clear up as we go through tonight and even through the end of the month. Uh, let me show you a little graphic to kind of explain what's going on with the Eta Aquarids. Uh, these come from the constellation Aquarius. That's where they originate from. You'll, if you look for that constellation, you may be able to see it. They peak uh, tomorrow morning. You should see 20 to 40 per hour. The best time to see them is between 3.30 in the morning through sunrise. And let's show you some of those tweets. First one from Don. Anyone else in LA see the sky just light up for a second? What was that? A, B says, why did the sky out here in L.A. just light up like a meteor entered the atmosphere or something? And then Sean says, yo, I'm being serious right now. Did anyone else in the Los Angeles Burbank area just see a gigantic bright flash in the sky? Yes, it was a meteor is what it looks like. And again, it should be on through the end of the month, but peaks early tomorrow morning. Uh, Jeff and Sharon, the difference between a meteor is it's just a tiny dust particle about the size of a grain of rice, burns right through the atmosphere, never touches the ground. And then a meteorite actually is a big rock that hits the ground. Unlike a meteorologist who studies weather.